Edict of Expulsion Henry III's son Edward I was involved from an early age in the political intrigues of his father's reign, which included the rebellion of the English barons. In 1259, Edward briefly sided with the baronial reform movement, supporting the provisions of Oxford. After reconciling with his father, however, Edward remained loyal throughout the subsequent Second Baron's War. After the Battle of Lewis, Edward was taken hostage, but escaped after a few months and defeated Simon de Montfort at the Battle of Evesham in 1265. Within two years, the rebellion was defeated. With England pacified, Edward joined the Ninth Crusade to the Holy Land. In 1254, Alfonso X of Castile had signed a treaty of alliance with Edward's father supporting him in the war against King Louis IX of France, and in the same year Alfonso's half-sister, Eleanor, married Edward. Unlike her half-brother's philosemitism however, Eleanor was said to have perpetrated acts of anti-Semitism and the seizure of Jewish property, and is considered to have influenced Edward's policies towards the Jews. 46. Edward and Eleanor's marriage was known to be especially close, and they traveled extensively together. In 1270, Edward and Eleanor left to join his uncle Louis IX of France on the Eighth Crusade. In order to fund his crusading venture, Parliament granted a tax of a twentieth, in exchange for which the Edward I agreed to reconfirm Magna Carta, and to impose restrictions on Jewish money lending. 47 Eleanor was with him on the Ninth Crusade, when he was wounded at Acre, where legend reports that she saved his life by sucking out the poison. When she died, at Harby near Lincoln, Edward ordered a stone cross to be erected at each stopping place on the journey to London, ending at Charing Cross. In his letter to the abbot of Cluny in France, seeking prayers for the soul of the wife, Edward wrote whom living we dearly cherished, and whom dead we cannot cease to love. Making a slow return home in 1272, Edward was informed that his father had died, and was crowned king at Westminster Abbey when he reached England in 1274. This reinforced his own reservations concerning usury, Edward issued his own statute of the jury in 1275. The statute acknowledged that the kings of England had profited from Jewish usury at the expense of their Christian subjects, and attempted to rectify some of these abuses. 48 Finally, in 1290, Edward I issued the Edict of Expulsion, by which the Jews were expelled from England, a ban which remained in place until it was overturned more than 350 years later by Oliver Cromwell in 1657. Shortly after he expelled the Jews from England in 1290, Edward I added royal approval to the cult of Little Saint Hugh of Lincoln by building him a shrine. 49. A year before the Templars were arrested, in 1307 AD, France also expelled its Jewish population. All the crowned heads of Europe then followed his example. In 1348 Saxony followed suit. In 1360 Hungary, in 1370 Belgium, in 1380 Slovakia, in 1420 Austria, and in 1444 the Netherlands. 1 Abu Lugod. Before European hegemony, p12. 2 Ibid, p47. 3 Rawls. Knights Templar Encyclopedia, p65. 4 Ibid. 5 Karen Rawls. The Templars and the Grail, p21-21. 6 Abu Lugod. Before European Hegemony, p46. 7 Elspeth M. Vila. The English Fur Trade in the Later Middle Ages, 2nd Edition, London Folio Society 2005, pages 65 to 66. 8. Paul R. Milgram, Douglas C. North, and Barry R. Weingast, The Role of Institutions in the Revival of Trade, The Law Merchant, Private Judges, and the Champagne Fairs, in Kosik Basu, ed. Readings in Political Economy, 2003, p68 ff. 9. Fernand Braudel. The Perspective of the World, in Civilization and Capitalism, 15, 18th Centuries, Vol. 3, William Collins and Sons, London 1984, p. 111. 10 Abu Lugod. Before European Hegemony, p. 68. 
11 Brottel. The Perspective of the World, p. 112. 12 J. McCarthy. Outlines of Banks, Banking, and Currency. McCarthy and Son, 1840, p. 33. 13 Fernand Brottel, The Perspective of the World, in Civilization and Capitalism, 15, 18 th Centuries, Vol. 3, William Collins and Sons, London 1984, p. 112. 14 Abu Lugad. Before European Hegemony, p. 47. 15 Nissan Mindel. The Martyrs of Blois, circa 1171, Jewish History. Kahat Publication Society, June 16, 2006. 16 Joshua Byron Smith. Walter Mapp and the Matter of Britain, University of Pennsylvania Press, 2017, p. 218 and 8. 17 Geoffrey Anderson. Angevin Dynasties of Europe 900-1500, Lords of the Greater Part of the World, Robert Hale Nonfiction, 2019. 18 Napier. A to Z of the Knights Templar. 19 Norman Roth. Champagne. Medieval Jewish Civilization, An Encyclopedia, Taylor and Francis, 2003. 20 Anna Sapira Bulafia. Christian, Jewish Relations, 1000 1300, Jews in the Service of Medieval Christendom, Taylor and Francis, 2011, p. 73. 21 Sydney Painter, 1937. The Scourge of the Clergy, Peter of Drew, Duke of Brittany, Johns Hopkins University Press, 2019, pages 40 to 41. 22 William of Puil Renz. The Chronicle of William of Puil Renz, The Albigensian Crusade and Its Aftermath. Translated by Sibley, W.A. Sibley, M.D. Boydell Press, 2003, p. 81. 23 Christopher Tyreman. God's War, A New History of the Crusades, Penguin Books, 2006, p. 767. 24 Emily Tates. Champagne. Medieval Jewish Civilization, An Encyclopedia, ed. Norman Roth, Taylor and Francis, 2003, p. 147. 25 Emily Tates. Champagne. Medieval Jewish Civilization, An Encyclopedia, ed. Norman Roth, Taylor and Francis, 2003, p. 147. 26 Richard P. Kincaid. Alfonso X, Cantiga 235, and the events of 1269-1278. Speculum. Volume 67, 1992. P. 294. 27 W.D. Rubinstein. A History of the Jews in the English-Speaking World, Great Britain, Macmillan Press, 1996, p. 39. 28 Thomas of Cantimpre. Bonum Univeral de Pibus II, Cap. 29, 23, pages 304 to 306, cited in Resnick, p. 104. 29 Gililmus Armoricus. Gustafilippi Augusti, Frank Orum Regis, ab anno 1179 usqui ad annum 1223, in Recueil de Historines de Gaulle's et de la France, ed. Michel Jean Joseph Brial, Paris, Victor Palma, 1878, reprint Greg International Publishers Limited, 1968, 17, 66. 30 cited in Urban M. Resnick. Cruentation, Medieval Anti-Jewish Polemic, and Ritual Murder. Anti-Semitism Studies, Volume 3, Number 1, Spring 2019, p. 105. 31 Christian Orum Parvulos Abducant et in Abditus Crucifigant. Contra Perfidium Judaeorum 28, pl 207, 861 c. 32 Urban M. Resnick. Cruentation, 
medieval anti-Jewish polemic, and ritual murder. Antisemitism Studies, Volume 3, Number 1, Spring 2019, p. 112. 33 Anna Sapira Bulafia. Christian, Jewish Relations, 1000 to 1300, Jews in the Service of Medieval Christendom, Taylor and Francis, 2011, p. 184. 34 Constitutions et Acta Publica Imperatorum et Regum, Doc. 204, ed. Ludwig Weiland, MGH, LL, Sectio 4, Volume 2, Hanover, 1896, 274 to 276, 276. 35 Urban M. Resnick. Cruentation, Medieval Anti Jewish Polemic, and Ritual Murder. Antisemitism Studies, Volume 3, Number 1. Spring 2019, p. 109, cited in Resnick, p. 110. 36 Matthew Paris. John Allen Giles, ed. Matthew Paris's English History, from the year 1235 to 1273, Vol. 3. London, H. G. Bonn, 1852. 37 Richard Huscroft. Expulsion, England's Jewish Solution, Stroud, UK, Tempest, 2006, p. 102. 38 Gavin I. Langmuir. The Knight's Tale of Young Hugh of Lincoln. Speculum, 47, 3, July 1972, p. 478. 39 Ibid, p. 479. 40 Joseph Jacobs. Hugh of Lincoln. In Singer, Isidore, et al. eds. The Jewish Encyclopedia. 6, New York, Funk and Vanyals, 1904, pages 487 to 488. 41 Paul Johnson. A History of the Jews, p. 208. 42 Adrian Jobson. The First English Revolution, Simon de Montfort, Henry III and the Barons' War, London, UK, Bloomsbury, 2012, p. 9. 43 Nicholas Vincent. Isabella of Angoulême, John's Jezebel. In Church, Stephen D. Ed. King John, New Interpretations, Woodbridge, UK, Boydell Press, 2007, pages 150 to 151. 44 Horridgeway. King Henry III and the Aliens, 1236-1272. In Peter R. Dotkos and Simon D. Lloyd, eds. 13th Century England, Proceedings of the Newcastle upon Tyne Conference, 1987. 2. Woodbridge, UK, Boydell Press, 1988 pages 173 to 188. 45 Robin R. Mundell. England's Jewish Solution, Cambridge, United Kingdom, Cambridge University Press, 2002, p. 254. 46 Cecil Roth. The Jews of Medieval Oxford, Clarendon Press, 1951. 47 John Matty Cott. The Crusade Taxation of 1268-70 and the Development of Parliament. In P. R. Koss, S. D. Lloyd, eds. 13th Century England. 2. Woodbridge, UK, Boydell Press, 1989. Pages 107-110. 48. Abulafia. Christian, Jewish Relations, 1000-1300. P. 101. 49 Ibid, P. 187.